Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to the Wrestle Network. Today we're going to be talking about Monday Night Raw. And we're going to be talking about why the rating so low on there. So this week's episode drew a 2.33, which is really low. It's even the lowest ratings of Raw since 1990. So that's pretty amazing right there. So we're going to be talking about why it's going down and a, like a bunch of other stuff of why the product's going down. So let's get into it. First thing on why Monday Night Raw can be going down. A lot of people watch Monday Night Football, which is the same time that Raw is on around 8 o'clock. So a lot more people intrigued to watch Monday Night Football than watch WWE. So that's another key reason why it's going down. Another reason why it's going down. This is not the 90s. People do not like to watch commercials. So what they do is download Monday Night Raw or any WWE show off torrents and watch it that way. Or they have a thing called Charter Communications or a Satellite Dish or whatever TV brand company you have. And with these, if you have like a premium plan, you can record TV shows. So... That's what I think a lot of people do. I think if they record it, I don't know if it picks up as them watching Monday Night Raw. I believe it wouldn't if you're recording it and watching it at a later time. So this is not the 90s anymore. A lot of people record shows. So that could be another reason there. Because I honestly hate commercials and I record Monday Night Raw. I just cannot watch long commercials. It's just so stupid. So... I definitely believe that's one of the biggest factors in it right now. Again, I don't know if you record a show, if it will count it as watching it. Another reason why it could be going down is because they kind of do the same thing every week with the same people and the same kind of storylines. You know, it kind of gets boring, but I really don't see that playing a big factor, you know. This week's episode drew a 2.33, I believe it was. You know, extremely low. It was like one of the lowest episodes since 1990 again. And it was all, all right raw too, you know. Um, I The biggest factor of the night, which I liked, was the whole Kane situation of him getting his job evaluated. Seeing if he was like in the right stable of mind. I think that was a really cool thing. You know, I think a lot of people would be more intrigued to that. But apparently they're not. You know, it was kind of cool with Seth Rollins saying this is a bunch of crap. And then he attacks Kane. Kane gets rolled out on a stretcher. He, he gets put into the ambulance. Then the demon Kane rises up out of the ambulance. And he basically brings Seth Rollins to hell again. You know, I don't understand why people don't like to watch that. But again... I don't think that's the problem. I think we're in the new age of technology where you can record stuff, download stuff off the computer. So I think that's really what it is. Now that we mentioned the majority of the problems, which I think it is, you know, a lot of people could have different reasons on why they think the product's so down in ratings, but that's my opinion right there. Now we're going to be talking about how can WWE fix this problem. I think, honestly, they should just bring the whole SmackDown Raw to the WWE Network and broadcast it on there. I think a lot more people would watch it that way. You know, this is not the 90s anymore. People are more intrigued to apps and stuff. You know, people like to watch Netflix, Hulu, all that kind of stuff. So I think that would intrigue more people, even though it would be $9.99. I think you'll get a good product because you're paying for it. And honestly, I think WWE should go in that direction. Honestly, they have really no competition, so they really don't have to worry about the money. But again, the network is really huge, and they're getting such a big profit. I don't even think it would matter anyways bringing their WWE Raw and WWE SmackDown to their network, you know, and just take it off live television. I think that would really save their asses right there. But yeah, that's just what I think they should do. I think it would be a really better idea to do it that way. So we're going to see what happens on Monday Night Raw. 
There's rumors that WWE is bringing Brock Lesnar back for their next edition of Raw to try to bring up the ratings. Which again, they should do stuff like this. Get all these news rumors spread out of like a superstar returning like Brock Lesnar. So people know in advance and maybe they'll watch the episode of Raw on TV. So they should really bring their product out more of like surprise returns or big matches or whatever. They should do more of that. Not that they really do that already, but you know... You have like a surprise return like The Undertake or whatever. They don't really mention it, which I understand it's a surprise. But, you know, you want more people to watch your products. It's been really low in ratings since 1990. So I think they should do that, like bring out their product more and list maybe like... You don't have to say who it is. You could put like a, a big question mark... Um, big superstar returns on monday night raw tonight or something like that you know you don't have to give their identity away and spoil the edition of the episode you know i understand why you don't want to spoil it and just give it away right away so you could do something like that but yeah guys that's my thoughts on this whole raw dropping rating situation so if you have any additional information on why you think their product is dropping Definitely share it down in the comments down below. It's always fun seeing what you guys have to say.